let's head on down into the uh, saloon. Warm and beautiful. All this teak work is made from a single tree. And if we have a look at this handrail over here, gorgeous. But that is one piece of teak all the way through. Just of note, painting not included. And up here, ship's clock belonged to the father of the owner. So that's uh, staying as well. Chart table. Here we've got the HF, HF, all the fuses and controls for the boat here. So all the windows have these little sliding privacy screens. And these ones in the saloon are actually white. And in the forward cabin, what they have is a special little blackout ones. So you can create lots of privacy and darkness. This is just a gorgeous cabin. Um, I love this, uh, I can't remember the name of the style of this bed, but yes, it's offset to one side. You've got the cabin at the rear, which is offset to the other side, so you've always got a sort of lee berth if you want, or you sleep on the couches in the saloon. But this is just a really comfortable open space. These drawers, they open, and then they just keep opening and opening. So these beautiful big deep drawers under here and storage. More drawers. Again, this beautiful cabinet um, locking doors. And the tolerances here, everything still perfectly opens and shuts. Nothing jams, nothing sticks. And yet the tolerances are incredibly small to the millimetre. Let's have a look at this uh, bathroom head door shutting. Nice solid thump. There's the gap in between. Tiny and yet still beautifully sits on its hinges. Shuts. So down here, where do you keep the toilet paper? Well, of course you have your own little drawer for that with a six inch thick door. And we've got a manual head here, but with a really nice mechanism and an extendable handle. Ahead of this cupboard is there's a chain locker in there and a bit of storage. So there's some cleaning gear in there. Shower head, beautiful varnish work everywhere. Again, these deep handholds everywhere, um, just in this beautiful teak. Uh, lovely bronze portholes, really thick, really solid. Uh, and then the mirror, stainless sink. I just love this boat. Why would why would you buy a plastic production boat when for a lot less you can get this incredibly built made in Taiwan to incredibly high standard by artisans. There's another one of those gorgeous uh, bronze portholes. It's really nice American style boat. I guess that's the Raymarine uh, compass there for the auto helm. Just beautiful timber. Back to the saloon. Just really nicely done, this boat. So, let me show you this table. Two beautiful pieces of unvarnished teak. Slide out there to, I guess, about the correct point. That flips over. Yes, please. Very nice. And there's not a scratch. Not a scratch on this table. Very nice little brass pinions, pintles, whatever you call them, in there to sort that. Okay, let's have a look at the engine because it's under that table. A beautifully fitted door that slides out perfectly. Again, on little pintles down the bottom. And of course, we've got access from this side as well. A nice Yanmar. Uh, again, as I said, with lots of access. And if you can see down here, uh, just see the bilge down there. That's what I call a clean, clean bilge. And the engine's pretty tidy too. If we have a look on the roof. We've got uh, the soundproofing around here. Yeah, she all looks pretty good. 
And then above we've got storage. Oh. This is uh, tool storage in here. Oh, and talking of tool storage. Woohoo! I like that. The, I think you're beginning to see that the owner is fastidious and uh, practical, tasteful, and neat. There's two of these on the boat. Nicely stored away. They will go into here. Ah. Oh, that's a perfect fit. Then we have some bolt cutters. Mm. What have we got under this one? I think maybe the log. Okay. There's the log. Back cabin and then galley. Aft cabin. Um, again, just beautiful woodwork everywhere. There's a fan up in that back corner. We've got another two ports in here, so plenty of ventilation. And then of course some gorgeous, well, more gorgeous cabinetry. Beautifully satin varnished. Um, drawers. And a little cupboard here. And here's your passage making head. Under here, oh! So back into the galley. So we have fridge with top access. Next to that we have freezer. Ugh. And they told me they love these, which are ice cube makers, and they make a huge block of ice very quickly, and then that keeps the fridge, the freezer cool when you're not, when you're between running it. Plenty of storage. Um, so that's plates and things, condiments. We've got dry storage here, and you can see that's pretty deep. Um, we've got double huge stainless sink, um, and we've got more storage under. Uh, looks like a water maker. Pots and pans storage. We've got a Force 10 3 burner with oven and grill. And again, this handrail here. Lighting under here. More lighting. We've got another fan here which can be dedicated to the galley. Yeah, I mean, liveaboard. This should be a fantastic um, roomy comfortable liveaboard boat. She's pretty self-sufficient as far as solar panels and wind generation goes and then batteries. Oh, don't let this drop on your head. Uh, under here, can you see that? We've got batteries, so then in here, where some boats would have a motor, we have an enormous amount of storage. Uh, light. Look at that, even well labeled. So Brendan thinks it's a bit of a joke that I fall in love with every boat that uh, that I sell through Vixel. I've totally fallen in love with this one and I would buy it at the drop of a hat if I had an excuse to. But you can't have two boats. This would just be such a wonderful boat to do coastal cruising, ocean cruising, with Sundays cruising um, and you would be so comfortable. It's really solidly built. Um, teak uh, at a period in Taiwan boat building when um, when they just really, really were craftsmen um, and they built they built boats solidly. In fact, probably over, over solidly. If if you needed any criticism, there's more weight in this boat than than you would put in a race boat. But it's really nice to see how well it's lasted over the years and how everything that opens and closes still does so beautifully. Um, and I think that's a testament to the to the build quality of these boats. I would jump at it. Um, compared to a buck production boat, this at around $180,000, you're not going to get this much boat um, in a more modern, modern production boat. And yet, this has stood the test of time um, and really looks like, to my eye, looks like a, a new or near new boat. Um, and yet, with really high quality of finish. I love it. Mm -hmm.